Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Seven identical red balls and three identical green balls are randomly placed in a row. What is the probability that no two green balls are placed adjacently? So we have seven identical red balls and three identical green balls. And let's start this problem by finding the denominator for the probability. So the denominator is basically, you know, all possible arrangements without any restrictions on how the balls need to be, meaning that balls can be adjacent to each other or not adjacent. So it's it's basically without any restriction. So if we have 10 balls, the number of way, ways in which those 10 balls can be placed in a row is simply factorial 10. But here we are given that seven balls are identical or are of one type, that's red, and three balls are identical or and of another type, that's green. So the permutations amongst themselves, meaning those seven balls, which are identical and red, and those three balls, which are identical and green, are not going to define different or unique arrangements. So in order to find you know, the true number of unique arrangements of seven identical red and three identical green balls, we need to divide factorial 10 by factorial 7 multiplied by factorial 3 in the denominator just to you know, account for the fact that the permutations of balls which are identical to each other doesn't generate a unique arrangement. And when we take care of that, the total number of unique arrangements without any restriction that becomes 8 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 10 in the numerator, 6 in the denominator, and then we do the math, we get the, that number as 120. So this is going to be the denominator in the probability. This is the number of possible unique arrangements without any restriction. Now we have to consider the case where the arrangements are such that no two green balls are placed side by side. So adjacently basically means they're, they're, placed, they're not placed side by side. So for that, the, the green balls will have to occupy places between the red balls. So just to help in visualization, we first consider an arrangement of the seven red balls. So for the green balls to be placed in such a way that they're not, you know, side by side, they have to occupy, each of them may occupy any one of the spaces between the red balls or the spaces at either end. So the potential places for those three green balls are indicated uh, by that green question mark. So either in between, you know, the two consecutive red balls or they can be at the end. And if you really count the total number of uh, such places, there are eight such places uh, where each green ball could be potentially so that no two of them are side by side. So basically, for no two green balls to be adjacently placed, the three green balls can each occupy one of the places at either end or in between two successive red balls. And if you num like I said, if you count the number of spaces, that's a total of eight possible places. And this then simply comes down to the matter of you know choosing three places for those three identical green balls from a total number of eight potential places. And that simply can be determined by eight C three. And if you do the math, it comes to you know 
factorial 8 divided by factorial 3 multiplied by factorial 5 in the denominator and that comes to 56. So there are 56 you know, possible arrangements where no two green balls are placed side by side. So the probability will be simply 56 divided by 120 and then uh, if you reduce this fraction, simplify it, uh, if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by 8, this comes to 7 by 15. So the correct choice in this scale, in this case, will be option B, 7 by 15.